What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I uh, first you're here, and uh, I thought I'd do this video because I thought it was a uh, something that was kind of fucked up to hear about Mark Zuckerberg and this young woman's story. This one's no, uh, name is uh, Andrea La Lamana, and uh, she posted a picture up on Facebook. This picture about how she fed her kids organic food to help them. She didn't say it was a cure for autism, but it helped them from being autism or something. It's something about reversing the process of being autistic. And she went to a protest about it. And this is the picture that you see that she posted up on Facebook. On her own Facebook. You see it right here with uh, Alex Jones and another gentleman. That, but she went on his show to tell her story about how she posted this picture up on her profile on her Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg flagged her, not flagged her, but suspended her for posting this picture saying she was abusing, abusing and doing hate speeches and all this and that because she's anti-GMO. Like she's against the pesticide. What's, what, what it means is she was protesting about how pesticides in the food that she doesn't want pesticides in the food that's going to get the make our make the kids artistic or in other words I hate to use the word retarded in a way because the pesticide is in the food and like I said Mark Zuckerberg suspended her and said that she was doing hate speeches on Facebook now she went on Alex Jones to show to tell her story about how Mark Zuckerberg flagged, uh, suspended her from Facebook for posting a picture that she was protesting about GMO pesticide in the food. And Bill O'Reilly, Lord Jesus, Bill O'Reilly, oh, Martha, oh, Martha, Martha Bates over here. Bill O'Reilly is sitting up there patting Mark Zuckerberg on the back because he thought he did a good deal because he doesn't want Bill O'Reilly doesn't want Alex Jones or this Andrea Lalamala to I might mispronounce her last name but doesn't want them to go on Facebook or social media to protest about stuff like this that um, that the pesticides is making kids mentally touched in the hand and not and I, I don't get us like I thought, like I said, I thought this is the country, uh, America, I thought this was the country where we have freedom of speech. And uh, Facebook was a platform where people can have their freedom of speech and post whatever they want. But like I always say, you got to watch what you're saying, do over the internet because you don't know. Because the internet is your smoking gun. But to post a protest picture of two kids saying they don't want pesticides pesticides in their food and he, Mark Zuckerberg sitting up there saying oh that's a no no so protesting against pesticides in my food and making my children retarded is a no no it's a no no I didn't know that was a big ass no no and ever since that uh, ever since this is posted up yesterday on the 31st of Ju uh May of this year, he thinks that protesting against anything that anything that has to do with government is a big ass no no. So if I say, oh, the government is taxing me too damn high because I'm picking up the slack for rich folks, that's a big ass no no. So I'm, I can't say I'm paying the check, paying the bill for Mark Zuckerberg so he can sit on his fat white ass in his big ass house with his Asian wife trying to be Woody Allen over here. And I'm paying his bills. That's a big ass no no. But Bill O'Reilly can say, Oh, I think the poor can pay more. I think poor people need to die so I can make more money. He can Bill O'Reilly can do all that on Facebook and get away with it and you won't say nothing to him. But you treat this woman, Andrea La Lamala Lama 
and Alex Jones like they're fucking terrorists. So I'm sitting up here. If she if she's sitting up here protesting about about pesticide being in the food, is a no no, and you look at her as a terrorist. Why do you allow? Sir, why do you allow certain users to post naked pictures of themselves or fight videos or porn links to porn sites or and so on and so forth on Facebook but when it comes down to something real like a mother protesting about pesticides being in the food it's a no-no it's a no-no so somebody post a pi so if I'm getting this right if I'm getting this right with Mark Zuckerberg's Oaks like it's okay to post new pictures, dead bodies and shit like that on Facebook is okay but I can't post pictures of a protest that's against pesticides being in their food or how livestock is getting injected with antibiotics and steroids. And I can't sit there and pro and put a picture of me, uh, people protesting about how how the kids and I can't protest that all freedom of speech is being taken away from the uh, Americans because of how people like Bill O'Reilly is tr is 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 doing. Like if Bill O'Reilly says uh, people shouldn't have freedom of speech. That's what he's trying to do. It's like. Alex Jones shouldn't have freedom of speech because it's hurting the media and all this and that. He's part of the media, dumbass. He says, like, people at blogs and shit like it shouldn't have rights to have freedom of speech. And I'm sitting up here getting a little pissed off because one thing is this mother is, is protesting about how pesticides is in the food and it's making children retarded. Is making children retarded, and he and Mark Zuckerberg sitting up there. Uh, 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 we don't allow that up on on Facebook. We don't allow that up on Facebook. If you're not gonna allow it up on Facebook, then what's next? Uh, what's what's next? Twitter, Tumblr. What what's next? Because you're sitting up there saying that this woman cannot protest about pesticides being in the food now like you you lost a lot of users after that because you're saying this you're losing like Mark Zuckerberg is losing so much users so many users because of the shit that's going on on going on the site like why we, why does Facebook need to know my phone number why does Facebook need to know where the hell I live why does Facebook need to know my personal information? That's why people are leaving Facebook. And plus to top it off, people cannot post pictures of them protesting against something that they don't like. But you are okay with pictures of dead bodies and naked and naked people on it and people committing suicide and all this and that and so on and so forth. But it's not okay for people to post to post uh, pictures of kids protesting against why is there pesticides in my food? Why is the steroid? This is like I said. This is the picture. This is Andrea Lalama's kids. They say she kind of reversed autism in it by feeding them organic food, which Stop the autism. Not well. I'm gonna put the Alex Jones's show uh, video in the description box. But if you watch this video, pass it to your friends. That Mark Zuckerberg only wants nude pictures, dead bodies, kids getting raped, so on and so forth, shit like that. But he doesn't want kids protesting about what's been put in my food so he's okay with kids catching cancer 
and diabetes at a young age and kids killing each other, being on meth and all this and that, but he's not okay with kids bitching about what's in my food, what's in their food and my food or anybody else's food. That's what he doesn't want. And he's got Bill O'Reilly backing his ass up, but Alex Jones is telling him that Bill O'Reilly's crazy and Mark Zuckerberg is on the sh <laughs> is right behind him with the bullshit, but a mother is worrying about what the fuck has been putting her kids food. And I'm sitting up there wondering, it's like, this country is getting fucked no matter what. Y'all go, I know people are going to start saying, oh, it's Obama's fault. It's, a, I, it's not Obama's fault. Because one thing is, they've been putting pesticides in foods before Obama ever got in office. Before Obama even got in office. But... To sit there and censor a mother because she protests about pesticides being put in her kids' food and they're digesting the pesticides, which is destroying their body, like pesticides destroying our bodies. And they say, oh, we don't don't know what causes cancer. We don't know what causes, causes cancers or pesticides or shit like that but it's natural causes think about it pesticides is natural causes fucker but to sit up here and censor a mother because she posted a picture of her two kids protesting about G GMO and you say that's a no no and I don't think it's a no no if a mother is sitting up there protesting about what's been putting people's food and you have Bill O'Reilly sitting up there saying, I'm glad that they suspended this woman from Facebook. Kids need to die before they hit 13. And you got Mark Zuckerberg saying, I'm cool with kids dying. What if it, because he doesn't got kids, so he ain't got nothing to worry about. If he did, his kids won't be able to eat pesticides like everybody else. Because you know why? He's going to be feeding them organic bullshit. But like I said, why would you sit up here? Why would you sit up here and stop this woman from protesting about pesticide being in the food and her kids are protesting with her you act like she didn't she, you act like she's a communist and all she was worried about is why is there pesticide in the food that is the question why why is why is Facebook acting like a fucking communist terrorist because this woman's worried about what's in the food it's like yes, yeah, it's how this is how I see it. The mother, it's like a person going into a restaurant. This whole situation, it's like a person going to the restaurant and they sit down, they look at a menu, and they see what they want, but they ask the waiter, "What's in this?" And the waiter gets pissed off and said, "Get out." It's like that. It's like a customer asking, "What's in the food before I eat it?" And that's all it is to it, but. Mark Zuckerberg and Bill O'Reilly thinks that it's alright for kids to be eating bug spray and inhaling bug spray and drinking bug spray and in, and eating bug spray because they think bug spray is the shiznit. But when you have Alex Jones and a worried mother sitting up there saying they don't want pesticides in their foods making their kids mentally challenged having health problems bones or joints not forming right because there's pesticides uh, pesticides steroids and antibiotics injected into livestock and crops because the good because the government wants to put it there and Bill O'Reilly supports that I saw and it's like if you worry about your kids it, I, I it makes me proud of this woman because this woman is getting out there to tell the world that she doesn't want pesticides in the food 
to make her child, make her children messed up because of what? What's in pesticide? What can pesticide do to you? It's the same as when you drink any toxic. It can either kill you or fuck you up. It is what it is. But to sit there and censor her because she used May, uh, she used Facebook. To sit there and censor her because she used Facebook, that is so fucked up. See, they like it's, it's like what they said. They don't want anybody like this mother to any like this mother to protest and go on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr to protest because Bill O'Reilly wants them to stay off social media, stay off TV, stay off the radio and keep that shit to themselves so everybody else can die from pesticide so he can live to see another day and why is Mark Zuckerberg so caught up in it that after that she got the publicity the next day he unsuspended her and not even a, a apology to say I'm sorry but you're sitting up there letting you sitting up there suspended this woman because she's protesting about protesting about pesticides being in the food that's all she was saying it's the same if a mother goes up on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, any social media, and sister says, "Gun can, uh, we need to do something about kids getting their hands on guns, kids getting their hands on drugs, kids getting so much, getting this and that, because a parent's job is to teach them from right from wrong, but they're not going to be around their child 24-7, because they teach, and what a parent does is teaches the kids to do uh, to do the right thing and know from right from wrong but the school teaches them math, science, arithmetic and all, so on and so forth it's so much that a parent can teach a child and so much that a school can teach that when some mother bitches about how why is my child got this gun how come my child is ingesting pesticide that's, and that's what she's worried about it's just like any other mother mother worrying about what's going on with their kids why is the kids so unhealthy if they feed them the right stuff like vegetables out vegetables fruit and the right things and they still wonder why they are so unhealthy is because what they put in the food you can sit there and say well you can grow your food though so you can yeah she can but the but the earth is so fucked up with full of toxics and so on and so forth you don't you, you might still be eating pesticide. You just don't know. But the sit there and Bill O'Reilly and Mark Zuckerberg saying this woman don't need a uh, this woman don't need a protest about how uh, pesticides getting into the food. She needs to sit her ass back in the kitchen. That's what they trying to say. To me, that's what it's trying to say. They're being sexist or whatever because a mother's worried about her kids and now the Bill O'Reilly and Mark Zuckerberg can say is. Oh, she needs to take her bitch ass back in the kitchen and cook me some fucking grits. Seems like that's what they're trying to say. It's That's what it seems like. But it's like is You cannot stop people from having freedom of speech. But that's what Bill O'Reilly wants to do. He wants to take freedom of speech away from the people and give it to the people like him. Like Rush Limbaugh, Bill O'Reilly, Don Imerson, dumb motherfuckers like them, plus Snooki and Jay Wild and Rob Dyrdek, only rich and powerful rich and famous people that's all he wants is the rich and famous people to have freedom of speech when it comes down to the average job he doesn't want that for the people Bill O'Reilly has actually put Colin D on his show and made th and actually trying to send people to the caller's house to beat him up and bully him to, to a point but y'all sitting up here oh y'all need to leave Bill O'Reilly on so him beating up him sending people to beat up people because they have something to say against his point of views Y'all still think that's right. Y'all think, like I say, if y'all support Bill O'Reilly and think, oh, it's so, it's okay for him to say, bitch, make me some breakfast, bitch, kiss my ass, bitch, lick the dog shit from my booty, then y'all ain't nothing but pieces of shit digging the booty ass motherfuckers. But like I said, I'm proud of this woman for standing up and doing what's right, protesting about what's been putting in the food and what's make, making our kids fucked up. 
You can say, oh, it's what the parents cook them. No, it's not what the parents cook them. It's what they put in the food. It's not what the parents put in the food. It's about what is in the food before the parents even buy it. It's about how... <clears throat> it's about how... How... Why is that the... There's pesticides in the crops. Corn, fruits, vegetables, and all that shit. Why is there steroids and antibiotics putting it to the livestock like cows, chickens cows, chickens and pigs how come that, why is that, how come if you go to a farm that makes good business with the fucking fast food chains how come the chickens are big as fuck and why is the farmers ejecting them with steroids how come if you go out to a farm and you see extra limbs on a cow and y'all don't question that Y'all don't question it. Y'all need to wake up and realize something, man. This woman is doing with something is doing something to help her kids and everybody else's kids. That's what a mother does. Worry about her kids. Worry about worry about the kids. And if you if you look and just sit up here and Bill O'Reilly sitting up here, all kids need to die from pesticide. And it's all good if they die from pesticide. And I want them to die from pesticide. Y'all still support that? So if Bill O'Reilly say, it, it, it's just the same as when Pharaoh, back in biblical times when Pharaoh was ru ruling Egypt, what he do? He said, kill every male boy so he don't grow up to overthrow me. It's the same as that. It's the same as that. But it's like I said, my my my, the way I said my point of view is this: that we should do something about pest. We should bitch complain about pesticides being sprayed on our food. We should bitch complain about why steroids and antibiotics is being injected into our livestock. We should bitch about it. Why? <laughs> and Michelle Obama always send up her questions like. Why uh, wants to do their whole not question but actually do their whole thing about child obesity? It doesn't start from the home. It well, it kind of does because some parents do buy their kids junk food and nothing healthy. But it's not just the parents' fault. It's actually what's been put in the food. It's fault. See, the parent is the same. It's it's like that. It's not what the parents buy. It's about what's in the food before they buy it. If you take a pack of hamburger and you get it tested and it comes back and say, oh, it's got steroids and antibiotics in it, do you know that your kids are ingesting something they don't need to ingest? Same if you take a, a piece of corn, if you eat corn from Kroger's or Publix or Aldi's and you eat it, no, if you test it and say, oh, it's got pesticide on it and you eat it and you're... Are you going like joining on yourself the next day? Then you know what? Whatever they put in the food is going to actually destroy your body quicker than what a fucking cigarette can do. That's all it is. Didn't Taco Bell have that fucking outbreak what a few years ago about the onions? Didn't the fucking peanut butter have a fucking issue about what was in it? It was not the people who bought it and ate it, it was about what was in it when they served it. It's like that. Like when McDonald's had that pink slime. Big news. People was bitching. People was bitching. Oh, what was it? Somebody found a cockroach in Wendy's Chili or a finger in Wendy's Chili or what was it? They, uh, I remember Channel like well down here where I'm at ABC or Channel Two News did it. It was the news down here that did a spe or did a segment called "What Was on Your Plate" and actually went behind the scenes and actually caught uh, cooks put spitting, putting boogers, hair, so on and so forth in food that they got shut down. It's it's about what's been put in the food before you buy it, not what the parents bought. You can buy an apple, and it can be the shiniest apple on, in the world. 
and it will still be unsafe for you to eat. I'm not a doctor, so I can't sit there and say, don't eat vegetables and fruit. I'm just saying, you don't know what's going in it. You don't know what's in it to go in your body. Same as you don't know what's going in a cheeseburger at McDonald's. You don't know what you eat. You need McDonald's to put it's going in your body. It's just like that. A mother protesting about why is there uh, why is there uh, GMO in the food. That's all she's doing. But like I said, I'm going to put the video in the description box so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But uh, follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. And tell me what you think about this story. Do you think the mother is doing the right thing? Do you think Mark Zuckerberg and Bill O'Reilly are in the wrong because they're censoring a mother for protesting about food that's been poisoned by putting uh, bug spray on them and all this shit? Do you think they're in the wrong that they want that to happen? You tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. And this has been Afro Joe. Like I said, man, keep it real. Show love to your fellow man and woman. Watch what you say and do over the internet because the internet is your smoking gun. Peace, love, and Afro Breeze.